I think right, we're getting to the end of the exam paper now. Um, figure 5.1 is trace that shows a change that occurred in the membrane potential of a neuron during the generation of an action potential. Using the letters A to F, indicate the point or points on the trace which corresponds to the following. Right. So I'm slightly distracted. My daughter, who's a year old, is playing on the other couch. So let's have a look. So let's put on the, um, the pen, the hyperpolarization. Now, hyperpolarization is where it overextends and goes a little bit past resting potential. So this is E. Hyperpolarization. It polarizes more than it should do. It goes beyond, from beyond minus 70 millivolts now yeah. resting potential now we've got two things here in terms of resting potential resting potential is where it stays at minus 70 and if you put down a you're wrong if you put down f you're wrong you must put down a and f because both those points are resting potentials okay now the membrane is most permeable Potassium ions. Well, we've got hyperpolarization where you've got more potassium ions than you need to. So it must be this point here, D. This is the point where we have the, you know, the, the most potassium ions rushing in. Okay, I'm just going to clear that because I need to move the move the question paper down. So, as we look at the next question, depolarization. Okay, depolarization is um let's have a look let's get the da 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 pen on depolarizers depolarization is here because we move the the polarized point um uh the resting potential so depolarization occurs at b now let's now get rid of that again because we now need to move even further down let's look at the next question Puff of fish. Um, I kind of get the feeling that I've missed a question. Uh, no, I don't think I've. Puff of fish, fugo species, produce a powerful poison, tetrodotoxin. Let me move this down a bit further. I thought I'd missed the question. Tetrodotoxin is some species store it in high concentrations in their body tissues. Unless these fish are cor correctly prepared, Eating them can be fatal. That means you're dead. Tetrodotoxin is poisonous to humans because it blocks gated sodium channels in cell membranes. So it blocks gated. So we're looking at sodium channels in cell membranes. and prevents action potentials. So this is what we stop. With reference, uh, prevents action potentials. This does not happen in the fish themselves. We have to figure 5.1, identify using the appropriate letter to pass the action potential trace that will be affected by tetrodoxin. Will it block sodium channels so it prevents action potentials? So it's the same place as B. It's the part of the graph where you weep. And here's the start of the action potential. And it blocks that, and that was B. Suggest so why tetrodoxin is not toxic. Um, to puff fish. Well... That's one mark. The most obvious one, the most obvious one in this, would be the fact that the receptors, uh, and the receptors on the sodium channels. So, if you've got sodium channels, they must have a receptor and binding area. So, you can see the sodium channels are different. So, sodium channels are sodium channels are different. Um. Okay, so sodium channels are different. And that's what you really want to say. Uh, so the receptor on it, or, or the, the, yeah, the, the binding point uh, is different. Where this, where this tetradoxin is binding, where I line it to block is different. Okie dokie, let's finish this one here.